So the interesting thing about Bingham plastics is that its behavior is neither solid or fluid. So the two most commonly known Bingham plastics is probably the toothpaste and mayonnaise. So imagine we have a piece of bread over here and we put some mayonnaise on it. This is the mayonnaise. Because the mayonnaise can withstand a non-zero finite shear stress without moving, we can conclude the mayonnaise is not a fluid. So if we give the mayonnaise some yield stress and we apply a force that's greater than the yield stress, you will see that the mayonnaise is spread over the bread like a fluid. So because the mayonnaise can now act as a fluid, it is therefore not a solid by that logic. However, in our first example, it's also not a fluid. So to summarize the Bingham plastic behavior, the mayonnaise can sit on top of the bread when the shear stress is less than the yield stress. However, when the stress is above the yield stress, such as applying a force from a knife, the mayonnaise starts flowing like a fluid. And this is the type of behavior that Bingham plastics have. So over here, I've drawn a graph of shearing stress versus rate of shearing. If we were to look at a Newtonian fluid, the graph will look like that for the Newtonian fluid. And for the Bingham plastic, it will look something like this. So this over here is the Bingham plastic. And this over here is its T yield. So as you can see from this graph, the Bingham plastic has no shearing stress until a certain yield stress is reached. And as soon as this shearing stress is greater than the yield stress, the Bingham plastic acts as a fluid and starts having a rate of shearing.